Hi, YouTube family. So I'm back and I just want to do, to do a quick five minute video, five minutes or less about house hacking because I posted a video about it and I had a few questions. So house hacking is basically buying a house to use as your primary residence and then fixing it up slowly while you live in it and then eventually renting that home out. And the wonderful thing about it, I've done it three times. The wonderful thing about it is that you can update that home slowly and then you can eventually either sell that home and take the cash and buy another home or you can rent the home out and give yourself monthly income at that point. So I'll slow it down a little bit. So when the reason why people do it is because when you're buying a house that you're going to live in, then you only have to put 3% down on a conventional loan or 3.5% down on an FHA loan. And if you were to buy that home and just say, no, I already, I already like the home I live in, but I want an investment property, great. But the minimum that you will put down is 10%. And 10% is perfect credit. 10% is your debt to income ratios are perfect. Like it's very rare that you'll get 10%. Most likely 20 to 25% is what you'll need to put down on an investment property. So the way to avoid that, honestly, without lying to the banks and saying it's you know not an investment property and you never ever plan on living in it. I actually lived in mine. I bought mine. I lived in it. I changed the floors. And when I saved up some more money, I, I, I think I took the carpet off the stairs. Um, updated some fixtures and whatever I would find cheap, right? Like I go in Home Depot and I find, you know, a ceiling fan that's on sale for 70 bucks. It was 125. I buy the ceiling fan and I see some light fixtures on sale. Um, I think I also got those from Home Depot. I see a sink fixture um, on a deal of the day on Amazon. All of these little things that are just like, you know, cute updates. I didn't have any major damage until the second one that I needed to do. But during that time, I just did small fixes and I, I paid a handyman. Hey, I need a ceiling fan installed in the master bedroom. I need this installed. I need that installed. Um, and then I got, I put a renter in that home. Um, and once you put a renter in it, then you can set yourself up to buy another home. Now during that time, right? Somebody moves in, they give you their deposit, right, which is one month of rent that you can use at that time towards your down payment on the next home. And it's not going to cover everything, um, depending on what that down payment is. I, I don't know how, you know, what rent is in your area, but it gives you something, just a little extra cash to go towards, you know, the next home that you purchase. And the first home i never intended to do that i just bought the home because i wanted a home for me and my son but i lived in that home for three or four years before I, you know i heard about house hacking um from my cousin and then i did that and then i bought the next property and i lived in it for a year and i was saving that entire year i didn't even get to really update it until the end of that year and then I completely renovated that one. Um, not me, myself. I didn't do the work, but completely. That's knocked down walls. That's changed the bathroom. Um, sorry, I don't know what's going on with my allergies. But I, I changed everything around in that countertops, counters, cabinets, everything. And I put a renter in that home. And now I get to buy the next home. And each time, I'm only having to put 3 to 3.5% 3 down. And it saves me. 17 and a half, you know, percent or what is 16 and a half percent. Oh, that's what I needed. And so I I just, if you have any more questions about house hacking and how to do it moving forward, start with the USDA loan. It's, it's easy if you have that area near you, um, little to no money down. If you don't go FHA, and then use a down payment assistance program to help you or use a renovation, uh, the 203K FHA loan. And that will help you um, do some of the updates in your home. But I'll probably do another video, but I just want to do something quick to explain what house hacking was. But until next time, I'll see you guys.